What up, y'all? This your boy EB, man. Coming at y'all with another video for the 99 to 2000. Hey, I'm just here to give y'all a quick video on how to get difficult shots real quick, real fast. This was I got I had to use this game right here because I know I spam all types of moving shots and um, <clears throat> you know, them little spin jumpers and all that type of stuff like that right there. Boy, I spam them all game long. So this is a perfect example to use. So pretty much, man, all you want to do is the fastest way to get it is to either A, do it on fast breaks, you know what I'm saying? When you got, you know, a steal or somebody just blocked a shot. You know what I'm saying? That's why my grade, you're gonna notice in this gameplay, my grade is horrible. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't hold hardly, I hold defense, but if I feel like somebody on my team finna get a rebound or a block, I'm already running down the court because I'm trying to get that uh open mid shot, you know what I'm saying, with that moving shot. So you can either do it that way, you pretty much get that and one man fast break. So you'll be killing two birds with one stone, you know what I'm saying, getting two badges. Or B, you could do it like how I'm bringing up the court right now. Well, Drogic, he gonna give me the ball, come spamming X. You pretty much want to hold L1, you know what I'm saying? So you can get that uh, pick and roll, and that way you can work on pick and roll, maestro, and you will get difficult shots, you know what I'm saying? Plus, it boosts your shot percentage once you, you know, activate that pick and roll, maestro. So if you got pick and roll maestro, it's going to really help you out with difficult shots. So make sure when you bring the ball up the court, if you got a wide open jumper, just do a moving jumper. Find a good, you know what I'm saying, uh, release and a good normal, you know, not normal, but a good running jumper or a moving jumper, whatever you want to call it. I personally use normal four. That's what I use to do my uh, running jumpers or whatever. And my jump shot in this video I believe I was using my old 2K17 jump shot. I was using like uh, base nine and Lamarcus Aldridge or whatever. So your uh, your moving shot might look a little different than mine, cause you know it depends on what type of jump shot you got. But like I said, my jump shot for moving shots anyway is normal four or whatever, cause that's the closest I'm gonna get to uh, normal 13. Now my spin jumper is spin jumper number four. You know what I'm saying? Normal four. I mean I think that's what we call yeah normal four. Pick that one. That one real good. So it's, it's real easy to time too. So you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna come out with a, a ankle breaker video because I broke hella ankles in this video. I already had. I got that badge gold before anything. So, but anyway, as you can see at the end of this game, I spammed it. You finna see 22 out of 34 moving shots, and this is the game I had got it gold. Got 9,800 points for that. So you mean tell me if I would have made more shots, I probably could have got a you know 10 10k. But anyway, but remember this though, is one thing I do gotta tell you. Make sure your moving shot percentage is real good because if you miss a lot of your uh moving shots, it'll penalize you and it won't give you that many points. It actually probably gonna take away some points or whatever. Cause I remember it was like that last year. So make sure when you're doing your moving shots, take smart moving shots and try not to brick them. You know what I'm saying? Too many, not brick too many, you know what I'm saying? I, you see I shot over 50%. But anyway, man, I hope this video helped you out, man. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell for them notifications. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I'm out.